Hello YouTube, the Milkman68 here with a mail day video and an opening for you guys. Went to Target and I finally found Sears 1. I actually found it last week, but uh, before I get to the story, bought some binder pages. Now I know they have better quality pages than that, but for sports cards I feel like it's easier to get the ones that you can just zip, I mean just slip cards in and out. That's mainly for my collection as well and I'll be honest with you guys this is not my first tin of series one I did buy one Friday night I was thinking about opening it at the diner I was uh, debating with my friend and I just decided no I'm, I'm too excited to finally open up series one that I didn't I apologize because I got probably the fourth best retail pull you can get out of this thing one being a third or fourth one being a Matthews Young Gun, of course. Second being the Patrick Line a Canvas. The third, third is either Neilander Young Guns or the card I pulled, and then fourth is either or. But first, let's see what this package is is in the mail. I don't even know what this is to be honest with you guys. Oh, uh, Joy, where is my box cutter up here? Cool. Thankfully, before I left for work this morning, I was smart enough to leave the heat on in my room. I sleep with the heat off, but during the day, I like to keep it on. Oh, wow, this came already? Jesus Lord, that was fast. Okay, this is a card I actually bought Sunday night. It is Tuesday. This came from New York, and I finally, and I got it already. But it is this beautiful, uh... I thought this was three color. That doesn't matter. This still looks cool. Uh, All the King's Men Patrick Marlowe patch card. I don't know why I thought there was teal in this. There's not, but still really awesome card. Numbered 46 of 50. Always happy to get Patrick Marlowe cards. Wow, that came fast. Damn. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, before I open up the tin, I'll show you guys my pulse from the previous tin. Which, not all of them are sleeved yet. <laughs> Mark Stone, Shining Stars. Noah Hannafin Portrait. Uh, Jake Gardner Canvas. My Young Guns could have been better, could have been worse. Josh Morrissey. Nick Dowd, which honestly isn't that bad. He's been doing pretty well for LA. And then Tom Kunako. And then this card I'm, I already traded for a lot of nice Sharks cards. I looked it up on eBay, and the cheapest one sold for 75 and boom. Mitch Marner UD Canvas Young Guns is probably the third or fourth best uh, pull you can get out of uh, retail. The reason why I say retail is because you cannot get high glosses, or I don't think you get exclusives out of retail. Or clear cuts. I think that's out of hobby only, which is okay. I'm definitely going to buy a box of Series 2 for you guys, not Series 1. This tin may be the last thing I open up of Series 1, unless Toys R Us comes out with some cool uh, blister packs again. But, I got this from the same target I pulled the Martyr at. Um, I don't really care if I pull anything. <laughs> I already pulled the Martyr, that's crazy enough for me. So, yeah. Well, let's just finally get cracking with this tin. I was going to buy a blaster of Star Wars Chrome, decided against it since I saw how much um, prices of boxes were online. We're looking at three young guns and maybe two canvases. What are the odds of canvases? One in six. Okay, so yes, we are looking at two canvases, one of which might be a young guns canvas. And then you get a cool oversized... I love the oversized cards that come in these. And uh, this year it's... From the uh, Winter Classic from last year. And this one is of Patches. The other one I have is of Chara. Wow. <laughs> I got both captains. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so there should be 12 packs in here. Uh, odds of Young Guns are 1 in 4. Odds of Canvases are 1 in 6. Uh, and I forget for the portraits and the... Uh, 
Shining Stars. I love how the Shining Stars look this year, too. Hopefully we pull a blue parallel. But let's get started. We'll start off with the... Right side. No. Right. We'll start with the right side. We're hoping to pull a Pavel... I'm hoping to pull a Pavel Zaka, Young Gun. Pecker and A. Uh, Josh Georges. Ovechkin canvas. That's pretty cool. It's two years in a row I pull Ovi. I actually thought it was... Uh, one of those goalie nightmares because of the red on top, but that's pretty cool. Drew Stafford, Johansson, Johansson, however you say it, Matt Molson, Nathan Bolio, Duclair. Cool. I'm a canvas collector, so I don't have any from this year other than the two I pulled from my previous did, so any one I pull is a good pull for me. <laughs> Brendan Gallagher, Ryan Kessler... Ekholm, Fisher, Tarasenko, Hala, Halak, and Laterra. All base pack, but that's okay. It's to be expected. Actually, put these right back in the tin. That makes sense, right? <laughs> I like how they have that cool, uh... The cool shot with, uh... Some of the canvas cards. I think some of the base cards are like that too, actually. So we have Fabry, Dubnik, Calvin DeHaan, Noel... Asiari? I think that's how you pronounce that. That's our first CO guns. Rick Nash, who's injured. Adler, Pavlik, and Barkov. So that's one young gun. Not really too familiar with him. No, it's not because he plays for Boston. Hey, Jimmy VC, but if we pull him... Yeah, I'm going to be upset, but in a way, he is kind of one of the more sought-after young guns. Would love to pull uh, Wierenski. Jake Allen. Oh, we have a Shining Stars in here. Uh, Patrick Kane. Alright. Not a player I'm too fond of, but... You're a Kane collector. There you go. <laughs> Guess that means we're not going to pull blue parallel. That's alright. I'm hoping our other two young guns are on that side. If not, uh, eh. Lee, Pasternak, Neil, this is all base. Yep. All base pack. Once again. Last pack on the right side. There's a young gun. I'll save it. Does not look like it. Nope. Portrait. Drew Daddy. Cool. Captain Green. Awesome. So our final two young guns are on the left side. Which is why I'm glad I did the right side first. I don't know if I can map it out like I did with last year's Series 2 blasters. I highly doubt it. I don't even remember where everything was on in my first tin opening, actually. Which, once again, I'm sorry you guys did not see. David Krejic. Oh, this one has a young gun, so we'll save it. I didn't see who it was, I just saw that it was a young gun. Martin Jones, Berglund, Kreider, and our other canvas is another player I'm not too fond of, uh, Johnny Gujero. But it's always nice to get two canvases. I feel like you're not always guaranteed to get two canvases out of these tins. But that eliminates the possibility of another young gun's canvas, which I knew was not going to happen anyway. Imagine I pulled the line A. Oh, gosh. Uh, what do we have here? Jersey card? Yeah. Oh, wow. Awesome. Uh, Sean Monaghan uh, UD game jersey. That was a uh, surprise. Okay. Go figure. Sharks play the uh, Flames tonight. I Flames are my most hated team. And I pull... And then two of my uh, hits from this are... A, uh, whatchamacallit, or a flame. But that's awesome. I feel like every year when I buy at least two tins, one of them does have a jersey. You're lucky if you get one out of these, I feel like. They're harder to pull. Is there a young gun in this? No, I don't think so. Bobby Ryan, Silverberg, Ward, Backlund, Murray, Kane, Carter, Larkin. Two more packs to go. 
Until we reveal what the young guns are. This one may have it, the last one may have it. There's a checklist in this one. Is there a young gun? Yes, there is. <laughs> There shouldn't be anything in this one. Oh, I thought that was something. Never mind, we got another portrait. Cool. So this tin had two portraits, a uh, game jersey, and two canvases, and three young guns. Pretty solid tin, I must say. Even if those next two young guns are nobody. But we will see. Oh, sick. Oh, nice. Brain in point. Now, if that other one is Zaka, this would be an awesome tin for me, but... uh. Very nice, that's gonna go for my uh, lightning PC. Cool. I actually bought a Braden Point Young Gun. I actually got a Braden Point Young Gun in the other day. I'm not sure if that was in a Mail Day video or not, but sweet. One of the two Young Guns I'm mainly going for. Can't complain. Now, Zuck, are, are you in here? Watch, watch it be Santini. Watch it be the other Devil's Young Gun, and I'll be sad. Oh, Sebastian Ajo is the other one. I'm only collecting Ajo since. About the hurricanes in a uh, case break because they were so cheap, and there were two Aho young guns in there, and his his last name is funny to say, and he's actually not doing, but he's actually doing pretty well. <laughs> so, and hurricanes are a team. My, uh, you know how everyone always has that one underdog team they root for. Yeah, hurricanes are mine. But uh, Brent Seabrook, Nick Felino, Dwight King. Jesse Pugliarvi. Actually, that's not bad either. Cool. So, two of my three young guns were not bad. I'm honestly happy with this, uh, tin. Birds, Van Riemsdyk, and there's Checklist. So, overall, cannot complain. Pugliarvi is only going to get better as the time goes on. Um, I feel like people say that about almost every oiler, but it's true. I think he'll be a solid player. Point had a wonderful start. I th Lately, though, I feel like he's been quiet. Then again, hasn't everybody on Tampa Bay. <laughs> but, no, P Point, you already know, is going to be a uh, solid player for Tampa Bay. Or for the Lightning for future years. I don't even think they're going to send him down this year at all, which is nice. And then we got the Bruin I've never heard of. So our hit recap, there you go. That's everything we got out of this tin. Pretty satisfied. I gotta say, I thought I was going to take a risk going for another tin over a blaster. And honestly, I did only buy this tin for you guys because, like I said, I pulled that Marner. That was enough for me, but I just felt so bad I didn't get to upload that one on YouTube. But this one will be, and... If there's any box you guys do want me to get, let me know in the description below. Christmas is right around the corner. I know I'm getting money from my grandma, which, regardless, I was going to spend on a box of some sort, whether it be for hockey or my other channel. I'd rather buy a hockey box. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to risk getting an older product or just wait for a Series 2. You guys let me know in the description, though. Uh, what box you guys would like me to uh, you guys would like me to open nothing too crazy not like the cup or ice or something crazy expensive but yeah anyway not sure what uh, I'm not sure what the next video will be probably mail day. actually yes I do <laughs> probably be a mail day video of some sorts because you guys know I'm always buying singles online or showing you guys what I got from a break from cardsmith breaks honestly that's Kind of the best way, kind of the best route to go if you're, if you have a lot of uh, PCs you're working on, like me. Checking out fire sales, going into group breaks. Not only are they fun, but you know you're getting cards that you're going to be happy with, and you know you're going to get players you like, and of course, more cards for your collection. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.